Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Uranium, do our daily technical analysis update. In this one, I'm gonna do it from a weekly candlestick perspective, big, bigger charting. Uh, I know we were down a little bit today, uh, but I'm taking each candlesticks a week and we're gonna take a big picture view of a lot of this stuff and see how the big picture view is changing uh, because that's where the big moves are seen and had. You have to step back and take a big picture view. If you're always doing daily, sometimes the big picture eludes you. So we're going to do big picture views here. So let's jump in and, and I'll give you my financial opinion. It's only my financial opinion. Please do not take it as advice. Uh, first, I'm just starting with the physical uranium. And we were up 21% in, it, in a day. Maybe that was yesterday. So jumping in, this is North Shore Global Uranium Mining ETF from a big picture view on a weekly candlestick basis. Remember, these are all weeklies that I'm doing. You come down in here and see we're trying to break that. And I don't know if we're going to break it or not, but you can get these little wicks. There's a lot of selling pressure up here at, at about 95, 92, 93, all in here. Uh, what's good and what you want to look at is you want to look at the lows of, of the trend. Here's a low, a higher low, a higher low, and this could be a higher low. And it's got that little U-shaped pattern that I talk about that I always see it hits. It hits, creates a higher low, and then comes and breaks through it. So I'm watching this weekly candlestick basis here to see if we break this, this upper trend line. If we break it, I think we'll see an accelerated move to the upside potentially. Here's Camco. And I'm looking at kind of the big picture view and what I would like to see is big candlestick up days and small candlestick down days like this. And we're seeing this pattern con continue over and over. And what that means is that we are still in a very strong uptrend. Uh, the buyers are not coming in here and selling this off. Uh, they do not control this stock. It is a nice, clean upward move with big buying pressure and not too much selling pressure. It looks fantastic to me on a long-term perspective. Uh, and we're seeing that across a lot of the companies. They all have to have these huge buying pressure days, I should say weeks, uh, with small down days. That is exactly what we want to see. Uh, and we're seeing this and you can, you can draw trend lines through here. Like I see a clear trend through here. And if you notice, we're, we're almost breaking it. And, and that's where the big money's made, is these big trends that are breaking uh, to the upside. And this very well could come back in, uh, this pattern. It could. But this is what we want to watch. We want to watch to see if we break. And so that one's looking really good. Uh, here, here's Fission on a longer-term perspective, just to show you guys what's going down. Um, Remember, this is a big weekly candlestick, and that's what you guys should be looking for, uh, a downtrend line that's coming. We come up and we break it, it pulls back a little bit, and then we take off. That's what you want to look, look and see for on a big picture view, these big downtrend breaks. Uh, and, and we're getting them across the entire sector, these downtrend lines, and they're breaking. So we broke this one here. And then now we're trying to break that one there. So uh, we're trying to break through this. That's where we're at. We break through this. It gives us a launching pad. And it's kind of almost a big U-shaped pattern. And we may create a little handle here, maybe. Uh, here's Ken Alaska. Ken Alaska looks like it's forming a nice, clean pattern here. And look what we're trying to do here. I'm just going to go right through there. And we're, we're coming through this downtrend line and we're trying to break it. We've got the little U-shaped U pattern that I see all the time. It, it's like a cup and handle pattern. And we're about to break at any second. You break out of this, it becomes a launching pad to jump from. So that one looks good. Standard Uranium. Remember the big buying pressure candlesticks like this guy, where money comes piling in, and then the smaller down days. And that's exactly what we have all through this chart. Big up days and smaller down days as we get to this right-hand side. Big buying pressure, small selling pressure, and again, big buying pressure. Exactly what we want to look for. 
Uh, BS, ENF, look at the buying pressure over here. Big buying pressure. And I know we're trying to break the dollar mark, which is kind of some resistance back here. Uh, I think we're going to maybe form a handle. Maybe we head right on up. Tough to say what the path is, but for me, I mean, this looks like it's scribing a cup and probably a little handle pattern to move on higher over time. Here's Pure Point Uranium. This, again, guys, we're doing the big picture kind of view here. Hmm. Let me do this. This almost looks like it's a better fit. <clears throat> and what do you see here? A lead in, a cup, and a handle pattern forming, which we could launch from this, this base area. So that one looks like a big, long accumulation pattern or phase. So that looks good. Uh, Denison Mines is very similar. Uh, we've got we've got some resistance coming through here. <clears throat> Cup handle pattern looking pretty good on the long term that I can tell. We just got to break through it, get close up above like around two dollars or buck eighty or something. Looking at this guy here, I see a pattern here, uh, and then we start looking at this stuff. There's your pattern right there. Let's just see what we've got on this over here. It's a steep pattern that we're coming. So whenever you have these, these guys kind of come up into a corner here, you can see that the lows are coming up. Higher low, higher low, higher low, all through here. We've got some resistance coming through here. Obviously, one hit, two hit, three hit, four, <laughs> five, and six. We're right there at this corner here. And this is this is going to be big when we break this. We're going to see a big move. We could see 60 cents real quick uh, on a big breakout here. Uh, because what, what, we, what happens is you get this accumulation of a fight or a battle happens. And you get almost a, a, a bunch of buyers start to accumulate at a door. And they're all putting pressure on that door, that, that resistance. And when that resistance gives out, it's just going to give and, and, and flop over and, and, and we're going to blow right through it where we're going to see a big move higher where the, where the selling pressure ends. Uh, so we could see a pretty big move here, I think, very soon. Uh, Bannerman. Bannerman. Banner what? Bannerman. Uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to draw something through here. We had a break that came through here. You could see a big move after that break. See it? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. No, Bannerman, don't do that to me. I'm just going to go across and see what we're doing this way. And there's not too much resistance over here. We had some right here. So we might break out and then back test back to this. That's what I'm seeing here. So I think we might come back and, and hit this 25 cent area before moving on up and, and launching again. But very nice moves coming up. Very good buying pressure, not much selling pressure. Exactly what you want to see. Uh, here's Forces Metals. Let's throw a line in here. We had a, a clear break through this, obviously. Uh, but what I see here is we're, we're, we're basically trying to break this guy here, some resistance in here. And again, we're just going from one resistance area to another resistance area. And this is almost like that U shape and a cup and handle type pattern where we're going to break. Um, we didn't lead in from the bottom, but it's almost like a bottoming pattern. Uh, Goviax uranium coming in here, coming across. I'd say somewhere in that range. You can see a break that we came up and then a back test, and then we're going to run. So that one looks really good too on a big, big picture view, cup, handle, and then the projected move would be from here to here upward. Let's see if we can draw some lines in here. Um, I'm going to draw this a little bit different, guys. I'm coming from the bottom up here. And then I'm going to do, I'm just seeing if we can see a pattern here. There we go. Uh, hopefully this thing breaks to the upside, and then we'll see maybe an accelerated move or a break to the downside. But that's what it kind of looks like to me. Uh, deep yellow, looking at this guy. 
if I draw this across, remember about all this resistance I'm talking about? There's your resistance. Um, I don't need a bottom one. We're trying to break up to the upside here. It's a, it's a sideways kind of cup and handle. Uh, this is what keeps drawing us back to this stinking resistance trend line. Uh, it's the upward trend line. We're trying to break through it. Uh, or maybe we just ride it on up higher. If that looks good, we've got higher lows stepping into it. I think we'll see a break soon. Deep yellow looks like looks really good. Here's UEC looking at this. I'm gonna do this for you guys. Just looking to see where the resistance lines and stuff is on this side. Kind of messy over here, that's for sure. It looks good um, for UEC. <clears throat> Uh, UU, UU, this has a lot of share dilution. That's why it came down so far. Uh, but this one looks good. We do have a trend line that's coming up sideways here uh, that I can see. So if you come across this way, um, you can see that. And we broke it and came back, and now we're probably, I mean, we're, we're moving on up. Looks really good. Nice, good back uh, retest there. Uh, Uranium Royalty Corporation. <clears throat> this looks really good, guys. This is a. a very nice looking chart. Um, probably like through here. It's probably what I would look for. Yeah, it doesn't look too clean, but if you look at the candlesticks, they're all big and up and then small down days. Nice big buying pressure up, small down days. That That's exactly a, a continuation pattern to the upside. Looks fantastic. Uh, Centrus Energy, another one that looks really, really good. Um, coming through this way and this is what we broke Ooh, that looks good guys centrus energy looks really good we just broke through this this tr upward trend line here uh to the upside we came up kissed it and, and just blew right through it looks very very good uh to move higher uh here's cure um i don't even know what to say here this is just up and down there's no real patterns that i can discern here for con international consolidated uranium uh, here's Kazantum Prom. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find, I mean, all these are starting to break. See? Kind of coming through here. We came up and broke through it. Nice big buying pressure, small selling pressure. That looks fantastic. Uh, Laramide coming through. I'm just trying to show you guys what I'm seeing. We've got this pattern here. Looks like we got some resistance through here. We broke that back testing. Let's let's hope we can launch here very soon. Uh, Paladin Energy. Ooh, man, this one's kind of obviously the downtrend line's broken, but I'm trying to see what's on the right hand side here if there's anything. I mean, maybe this is about to break here. That if that's a legit thing, and it looks like it is. You could see a nice big move, guys, on all this. Peninsula Energy. Mm, not much to say here. I don't really see a pattern. This guy's big buying pressure, small selling pressure. I think this is going to continue higher over time. That one looks good. Uh, and that's all I've got for today. That, that was Boss Energy. So big, big picture view. A lot of them look really good. Um, they uh, are breaking, breaking patterns. And some of them are still trying to break like URNM. Some of them like Centris look really good. They broke. You got deep yellow trying to break they're all trying to break guys these they're, they're coming up and going from one sub resistance level which then becomes support to another resistance level which then will become support and just stair step higher and that's a healthy move higher on a long-term big picture view so uh, i think everything looks really good we got big buying pressure candlesticks small selling pressure i mean that's like the best you can ask for on a on a big long-term uh, picture view um what i'm doing I'm just sitting in this stuff. I'll buy some of my favorites. I'll add in. Uh, but on the big picture view, uh, I think they look fantastic. And I'm doing a buy and hold approach uh, in this sector. And I think that's probably the best strategy uh, is a buy and hold. If you're trying to time go in and out, I mean, everything looks good. I don't know why you would do it. Just hold on and let it let the tide um, float with the tide. The tide is going higher. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.